Hello there, everyone. Welcome to what's probably going to be replacing Monday. It's just me playing Predecessor. I just really do enjoy playing this game, so yeah. Hope you all will enjoy what I'll be doing. Let's go ahead and start building our good old alchemical. I always find alchemical is a pretty nice pick for Gideon. Gideon probably one of my favorite mages of the bunch. I suppose if I did have to put a tier list on like, well, not really a tier list, but like my top favorite mages, Gideon is definitely like either number one or two. How he's probably in the tying spot between number one or two because I like how his kit works. I don't really know who to put at three because I don't really like any of the other mages. Uh, it's Countess. Countess is probably going to be, it's like my least favorite of the bunch. Like. I just simply don't understand how to play Assassin's Mid, like, I just don't. So, hopefully this is, hopefully this Countess doesn't know what she's doing, but, I mean, I always have the gut feeling that they usually do, but I should have the early advantage in the matchup, hopefully, anyways. Come on, let me tether you. There we go. Got that tether. Oh, okay, I kinda thought that Kalai was... Alright, that's Countess's first part. Just gotta keep on trying to... Give her some good old pokens. Oh shit. Speaking of people who want to give me a good old Pokin. No. Stop it. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab our E, get our escape ability online. Get the tether on her. Go ahead and drag up the creeps for basic attacking. Probably gonna need to build a tainted as soon as possible. Looks like river buffs are up, so go ahead and grab those while she has to deal with my wave. Uh, looks like back? Nope. Enemy tower under siege. Got it. Okay, let the, let the minions come under, grab the buffs. Alright, we stored our mana, so don't. Should probably back after this wave. Alright, that's a blink. I consider that a successful, so let's just go ahead and clear out the wave. And get our high knees back to base and. Start building up our stacks. Alright, looks like the other lanes are doing good. Love to see that. Okay, get our chemical moving. Uh, don't really have any gold for any more items, so. Let's see. Three books, okay. What would a Countess want with three books? Got 
Tether. Just gotta keep aiming her with the box. Don't go with a buff saw back up again, so go ahead and grab those. Uh, looks like she might be doing the other one. Go ahead and call out a missing. Well, since there's no one really. Yep, she took a jungle buff. Uh, Kaloi is on the. Is that Kaloi? Yeah, Kaloi and Steel are on the bank too, so go ahead and help out here. Well, try to help out. Did they call for a thing to No, that was kind of off the cuff, so kind of needed to pay attention to minimap there. Oh, be careful. Countess is about to hit 6, which is a big turning point for her, but I've been doing a wide with keeping her punished and low, so doubt that she has too many things she wants to do to me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that, that Countess was dead. She, I think, I think her blink was still gone, so... Alright, let's go ahead and push this wave in. Uh, Rox is... guess I can... afford to... shimmy on over white... Oh, left lane. Yeah, I think I can shimmy on over to left lane, try and get a cheeky double on Murdoch and Decker. Okay, here it goes. Alright, well, got the Decker. I'll take that as a win. Enemy tower under attack. Go ahead and keep on walking. Countess has opted to attack right lane, while I went Enemy left. Tower is under attack. Uh, Steel, you're out of mana and kind of out of position against the camera there, buddy. Well, not really too out of position considering that they did, don't have a decker, but I did not feel like chasing down a 4 health chimera. Oh shit. Okay, this is fine. My health is still good. Huh, oh, didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Oh shit. Ooh, that was some nice damage. Come on, let me tether you. There's a tether. I could probably kill the Countess if I can get my walk on her. So, let's see if I can't do that. Missed. Well, when in doubt, just simply keep using basics. Yeah, now she's back in, so... Oh, hi there, Quench. Help! Uh... Oh. Good timing for the river buffs to come back up. Go ahead and clear out the wave. Might say hi left lane again. Yeah, I think I'm going to say hi left lane. Hup! Alright. 
Not too shabby. I think we can probably probably force Murdoch to. Oh, that's okay. Now yeah, that's counted to stop again. Oh, where did she go? Oh, probably used the teleport. Uh, okay. Back to wave, and I think I'll back get ourselves our uh, chemical because buying the alchemical really does help. So, I was definitely a bit worried that she was going to ult me for a second, but. It has to, uh, uh, hmm. I do like combustion. I think I kind of want to get Astral Catalyst and then Tainted Scepter. Because we do have to deal with Countess's lifesteal later once she gets going. Also, there's Chimera who will be getting a bunch of health regen. And not to mention, I'm sure that Murdoch is going to be getting some kind of lifesteal. So, wouldn't hurt to be prepared. Oh shit, I missed that. Oh, I missed that so good. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, nope! I was not having any of that. Ah, uh, almost had. Alright. Just simply keep nading the autos. All you have to do sometimes. Alright. Uh, is this with above up? I hope it is. Nope. 55 seconds. Okay. Because I'm going to need to be a bit more frugal with my mana usage. Yeah, that's a dead Murdoch if I ever seen one. Uh, probably dead Chimera too? Yep, there he is. Got the tower and... Oh, we're actually all grouped up, so... Uh, don't have a ward, so... Let's just go ahead and go in for Fang Tooth. Good stuff. Uh, don't think I can really. Kind of want to just simply second mid and farm a bit. Grab my jungle buffs. Depending on. Okay, counters the store over there. Time to make the rotation. Shit. Probably kill this guy better? Yep, okay, cool. Damn it. Bit of, bit of greedy for... That was probably a bit greedy. But yeah, uh, sooner I can... Hmm. Tempted to just start building Scepted now. Nah, nah. I think we can wait for it. Go ahead, grab... The Soul Bearer. I personally prefer the Soul Bearer versus uh, Time Flux. Stace Epoch is Epoch is a device that is usable for reasons, but I just find that it doesn't really appeal to my sense sometimes. Ah, damn it. If I had hit one... If I had hit one of those abilities, that counters probably would have died. 
Uh, my fault for being a bad shot, I suppose. I probably should have pointed uh, point in my... Up! Oh, shit. Uh... This is not good in multiple ways. Yep. They were waiting for me. Friends! Alright, let's go ahead and get the spike birch going. Both the crunch and the count and the uh camel uh, waiting for me there, so. Uh, okay, duo still alive, still doing good. Love to see that. Ally tower under attack. Almost half our four stacks of azure that. Then that item comes really online there. Alright, uh... I just... now it's just me realizing that they have the assassins. Thankfully, the Countess is kinda being kept at bay, so... Damn, I thought I was going near the deck if she kept moving forward. Alright. Let's just go ahead and back it up now. No need to do anything too, Wash! Anyways, I need to make sure I can... I can keep up my farm because if I don't, then this Countess is definitely going to get ahead of me. I think, yep, mine. Okay, green is good. Love getting the green buff. Personally, prefer pink buff, but green is, uh, green is definitely handy. Alright, let's go ahead and help Kaloi with Fang. I wonder if Kaloi has evolved her thing into the truth. Nope, still wake the hunt. God damn it. Uh I hate to see it get stolen. Uh well unfortunate things. Definitely unfortunate. An allied towers destroyed. Well, it's a good thing we're getting spiked since that will help us with dealing with all the lifesteal and stuff. I need to. Ow! Thank you. His name is Crunch and he does like to punch. Jeez. Thank you! Well, at least Grox took their tower, so... Uh, well, on the bright side, once... I probably just need to learn the best time for me to use my ult, and honestly, that should probably net us a few kills, since as long as I position myself correctly, they can't really stun me out. Except for Dekka. So, just need to be careful of that. Uh... 
Come on! Really? Huh, I... Well, I guess I didn't really use my... Okay, there we go. Good cleanup. I didn't activate my, uh... Soul Bearer. That probably... Does Soul Bearer give me... Huh, it doesn't actually. Just gives me the shield and lifesteal. Oh, that should be a free kill. Yep. Okay, yeah, that would, should be tower, I believe, question mark. An enemy tower is under enemy yep, tower. tower. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a leftward shimmy. So that way we can start dragging down the left tower and then Murdoch DC. Well, that's a forge. Not too afraid of going against Decker. As soon as I land, ready? I'm pretty sure. All right. Whatever. There's the head. Alright, let's just... Okay, I think... Yeah, now without an ADC, it's kind of three assassins who can... Who basically need to dive in on their prey now, so... Because they have three assassins, and... Yeah. I've been seeing the, this three assassin comp go, and I've seen it work, I've seen it fail. Granted, the uh, Murdoch DC'd, but not too sure if you can call getting a DC a uh, failure. Go ahead and put a ward down just in case Crunch decides to come up my rear. You'd be surprised uh, for how big of a warbot he is, he is surprisingly agile. Well, I guess we'll just simply have to take that as our victory. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. I'm definitely planning on keep on to keep rolling with more predecessor because I do enjoy this game. So I'll hope to see you all next time. See y'all later. Bye.